immense pleasure to finally be back in the flesh with everyone else here. And this tournament is going to be just... I've been frothing with anticipation for months, man. And this bracket, like, just months? give me help. Yeah, help. What? Maybe more than months. Maybe uh, over a year. I mean, I didn't know it was going to happen for, like, I, I was holding, I was secretly being like, oh, no, what if it never comes back? So I was, like, a year ago, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. And now, finally, it's come, and this bracket is going to be so hype. We have so many amazing players that are going to be here tonight for the first time time that we are once again in person doing events here. I'm actually curious as to the number of how many people are here today. We had a cap of 96, but I'm not sure if we reached it or not. Uh, I'm just going to double check that right now. I think we're right in the 80s or 90s. I'm not too sure. But we're right. going to get into the match. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm, I'm going to first int introduce uh, Whirlpool, who's the raw player. He is a uh, PR third in Maine, actually. So he's in the New England area, and it oh, was a bun check. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that's, that's, what, that's what I know about Whirlpool. He's a. Uh, I, I, I don't think he's on the New England PR, but he's uh, on the state PR for Maine. He li he like lives there for college and stuff. But he's here for the weekend for MTP All right. and CT. Well, I mean that's fantastic. It's an out of region representative. He has a lot. You know, there's going to be a lot because he's. I assume the only Maine player here. Um, uh, he's representing yeah. his region. Let's see how he's gonna fare. This is a there are a lot of actually out of region people here. How like, many? Well, there's Tony Pajamas, Ling Ling. What do you and consider out of region? CT, like CT. I mean, like, do you consider we, we outside of Westchester out of region? I would not, just because a you know it's a hype event and we do get them regularly. So hmm. uh, we get some great players here at Encore. So these are gonna be two of them. We have Whirlpool versus and that other player is Hijanks. Hi, James. Oh. Um, so I know from this matchup with Rob versus Ness is that this is definitely a good matchup for Rob. I know at like the highest level of this matchup being played, Rob usually wins, regardless if it's online or offline. Rob does pretty good in this matchup. Oh, and that's kind of what we're seeing at the moment. Hijinks getting trapped at the ledge right at the start, but okay. This is one thing about Ness is that once he does get in on Rob, Rob not really a character that has tons of ways of combo breaking. And Ness is the kind of character that can put on a ton of pressure, as we're seeing here. He's managed to rack up 72%. Now we're getting to the point where it's a little more blow for blow. Is that going to be a stock here? Ooh. Reads the air I think, I, think the, I think the upper was guaranteed from the up tilt because he got the right hit. But I don't think Wolfpool was prepared for that. It is the first match of the day, so players might not be completely used to competing. Also, it's just the first bracket for most a lot of people today. Yeah, there's going to be some adjustments that need to be made, but as it stands, 147%. Oh, oh no, he's done. I, th I believe uh, Hijinks missed the angle on the Ness recovery. Yeah, it's, it's still tricky, though, because of that fact that that gyro is right there at the ledge. Yeah, Rob, as you can see, Rob's just a monster when you get the opponent off stage, especially Ness, like, in particular. <gasps> oh! Uh, <laughs> I think he just went jab, jab one to that smash. Yeah. But I mean, he's in with enough of a lead that honestly, even if he, I mean, maybe he was trying to get even fancier, which I give him credit for. I feel like that's maybe the sort of thing you can't quite do online. And now that you're back to offline, might as well go ham with those more uh, ambitious setups. I imagine the the side magnet like combos on Rob can work pretty well, but from what I've heard from Nesmi, it's pretty tight. Oh, that's the first stock of the day. That, that Rob's down throw up there. Okay, Hijanks looking for that back throw, finally finds it. You could see that that was sort of, at those percents, that's how he's going to be taking those stocks. But, I mean, you don't, <laughs> especially when you're down by this much, you don't really want the Rob to be living to 144 every time as it stands at this point. Okay, get it, get I like the fact he's just on top of him, continuously throwing out this pressure. The gyro is definitely like a dominating neutral tool, and depending on how well you deal with that and Rob Nair, are definitely the two most important things with fighting Rob. Because Rob needs the gyro to beat you, you don't need the gyro to beat him. So depending on how you deal with that, it's going to help. And there is another one of those missed techs really punishing him. 97% he's off stage. We've already seen him die quite a few times from that position. Is a down throw? Does an air dodge. Really smart right there, recognizing that that's what... That Will push them looking that for. felt very a confident like landing. Oh, uh, the PK Thunder. All right, so you know Ness has some really like awesome like combos. And they do look really flashy. Let's 
Maybe he can make a comeback and just get the right side magnet hit. Yeah, but as soon as he ends up off stage. Oh. Uh, what what happened? Did he bonk his head? I don't know. I actually never seen I don't think I've seen that before, because Ness like he went like into the stage but didn't like bounce off or anything. Normally they don't they bounce off and you can do it again. So it didn't look like he was in free fall. I could have sworn that, that was, animation was not free fall. That was that's an animation I don't think I've ever seen before. That was Ness just kinda I think it was just his normal falling animation. He just went it's like at the corner PS2 and just like Did fell. He, I <laughs> Oh man, I think next week we're gonna start getting replay set up, like replay set up with uh, the stream. I'm looking that, forward to that because that that's be, the sort of thing that, that would going really, through that, that frame by frame, frame, I feel like would answer our questions. So, Smashville is definitely uh, like, even though it's a good strong stage for Ness and Smash Four, I still think it's a strong stage for Ness in this game just because like he, he definitely is a button heavy character and has a lot of, like good attacks and there's a lot of space to run away from him. But Whirlpool is just not having it. Yeah. Not getting the chance to do anything with the stage because he's been trapped at the ledge from the beginning here. Oh, when he reads Ooh. that, I, I did that not get the sweet spot of the upside. I, I don't, I don't think so because like there's a hit where you, you, like it pops him up and then puts him into the the burner. All right, and that's it's just looking like these ledge trapping setups really just locked in now for Whirlpool. Yeah, so this is where you have to take advantage of Rob when he's landing. Like if you can. Like hit him before the nair comes out. It's very good to get punish Rob. Oh man! Oh my God. Again, trapped at the ledge. But that's another roll on that time. It doesn't get punished, but <laughs> Whirlpool, like you definitely actually now I remember Whirlpool like plays a lot with Tony Pajamas, who's a, a New England Ness, and you know Tony is very good at the game as well. So, <gasps> oh, looks like Hijinks messed up what he was doing there. Yeah, bit of an unfortunate error right there considering the fact that he's been down by so much already so far. That's not the kind of thing he wants to be seeing. But, I mean, I like the, his movement. It doesn't look like he's given up just quite yet. No, not yet, definitely. Uh, Ness definitely is a character where, like, he's definitely a string character where you can just get those strings and win, but it might be too too late. We don't know yet. Well, we see... Oh, no, sorry. That was actually Whirlpool kind of doing the mini, the anti-pop-off where you kind of, like, flinch in real life when you get killed. <laughs> God, I've missed player cams. Oh, okay, that was definitely like a, I want to end this set like side B from Rob. What did he even kill that that percent? Oh, and there's a jump read with yeah. the Rob back here, and that is our first set of the day. Whirlpool taking it 2-0. Uh, yeah, I think um, the only other Robs we have in Westchester, or at least that come to this local, is uh, Charles, who is a. Uh,